So the first thing that we need to do when we run our SDS page is we're going to take our BioRad Reti gels, polyacrylamide gels. You want to make sure that you're gloved up for this. Um, polyacrylamide is not something you want to touch with your bare hands. And you're going to have to gently remove the comb that was already inserted in there for you. Um, so we're going to remove the comb. Okay. And now we need to wash the gel or wash the wells. In deionized water, you want to wash away the rest. Okay. Anything that remains, clear them out because you're getting ready to add samples and you don't want anything to be tainted. Okay. So you're supposed to do this for about five minutes, three times um, on a shaker. And we have done that. Okay. So now we have is our nice clean. Okay. Gels. Now what we have to do is assemble our cassette. Assembling the cassette can seem really difficult at first, but there is a shorter face and a taller face. So when you take your cassette, you're going to assemble it with a shorter face facing inward toward the other sample. And you just sit, sit it right here on the little platform and pull it up like so. Okay. Because we're only going to be running one gel, we do need to put a dam on the other side, um, the buffer dam same principle to make our cassette. Okay. Now that we've made the cassette, we do need to put it into the chamber. This is a vertical electrophoresis, which is similar in theory to the horizontal. Okay. So now you have your assembled cassette. It should be very snug. You don't want any loose wobbling in there. Okay. We will take this and put it into the box. Like so. Okay. Then we need to add our buffer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our running buffer and we're going to fill the inside chamber. You can see how it leaks out to the outside chamber and that's exactly what we want to have happen. So you want to fill the cassette until the level is about halfway between the top and the bottom of your inner glass. Remember that it is going to equal out, so it feels like you're pouring a lot, but you want to reach a nice equal between the two pieces of glass. Note that the level of our buffer has been in between, halfway in between the shorter glass and the taller glass. That's what we were aiming for. So that's how full your chamber should be. Okay. The next thing that we do after we have this all set up is we're going to need to load our samples. It's the same principle behind loading your samples of the DNA electrophoresis. Okay. You're going to use the same basic technique with supporting your arms that we've seen before. Remember that the samples are inside the well, inside the glass. This for me is always so much easier than trying to load it into those very transparent electrophoresis for your DNA. You have a nice base in the back, the tall glass, that you can actually slide the tip down into your gel. Okay. All done. You have all three samples loaded. Once again, you don't want to shake and stir this container. You do want to make sure that you keep it still and that it's close enough to your power supply. Okay. Gently put the top on. Pick it up, turn the machine on, and we are going to run this at 200 volts for approximately 35 minutes. Okay. 
So it's been 35 minutes. What we're going to do is go ahead and disconnect our um, chamber from the power source. Remember, you want to hit stop. After you hit stop, I always like to make sure that it is off. Disconnect the electrodes. Remember, when you're working with electricity, it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay. And now we're going to take the top off. Okay. Okay. Remove from our running buffer. And then we're going to have to remove the cassette, which can be a delicate process. Remember, this is in there very, very tightly. So once you're finished, you're going to take the gel back off, okay. put it into your washing solution, and give it a good wash three times, five minutes each. Just make sure you switch out your fluid each time. And then from there, you're going to take the gel and place it into the mossy blue. Delicate, delicate, delicate thing. And that's going to help stain your bands, which you can then later visualize and or transfer onto Western blot.